Merhaba arkadaşlar, hepiniz Ayıf Detox webinarlarına hoş geldiniz. Bugün University of Incarnet World, ABD'de kariyer odaklı akademik eğitim ve burs imkanlarını Jessica, McKayley ve Andrea'dan dinliyor olacağız. Lütfen sorularınızı questions kısmından sormayı unutmayın. Yes Jessica, the stage is yours now. Thank you, thank you so much. And hello Turkey from the University of the Incarnate Word um, and from our office, Career Services. Again, my name is Jessica Wilson. I am the Director of Career Services here at UIW and I have my counterpart, Miss Andrea Garcia, who is our Career Advisor. And she'll be introducing herself shortly. Um, or or do, do we want to go ahead and introduce everybody from the panel? Okay, so go ahead, Andrea. So um, in our, in the panel, uh, we're, we're doing introductions. Okay, sorry. Good morning. My name is Andrea Garcia. I have been part of the University of the Incarnate Word for a little over four years now. Um, I'm a career advisor, so basically my role is to help students in their professional development throughout their time at UIW and even afterwards once they graduate um, with various uh, resources to ensure that they're receiving the opportunities that they're trying to set out for. Michaeli, were you going to introduce yourself? Yes, sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Michaeli Jonas, and I am the international student recruiter at UIW. Um, so I'll be your main point of contact if you are interested in the admissions process. Um, so I can help answer all of your questions about UIW specifically, how to apply, what kind of programs we have. Um, so I'll be following uh, with just a short note about that after Jessica and Andrea. So thank you so much for uh, joining us tonight, and um, we hope to have a great presentation presentation for you guys. Thank you, Michaeli. And I forget it's nighttime over there. So good evening, I should say. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm going to be sharing with you um, about our unit, specifically career services, our, um, our overall services that we provide, how um, we, we work uh, with everybody here in the university and, and the pivotal role that we play, um, not only within the university, but obviously with our students and their overall educational journey, um, even long after their journey here, so post-graduation. So I'm just going to do um, an introduction of our team and um, go over our mission statement. We are small, but we are mighty, I will say. Um, I will start off by, again, introducing myself um, and my role here and, and what I do specifically. Um, obviously, I, I oversee the whole department and um, ensure that all the policies, procedures are in place and that we're getting all the up-to-date information that's required um, to help our students be successful. So meaning um, skill sets, um, networking, um, just a variety of resources that we provide our students. I, I have to make sure that everything is uh, legit and, and adequate and um, definitely um, resourceful that will eventually help our students uh, be career ready and, and, and successful in that whole aspect. Um, so that's, that's me here. I don't know if you can see, Andrea, you might have to point where, where everybody's at, but um, there is myself um, doing our, our cardinal Sign. And then um, we'll go back to the beginning where you'll see beautiful Andrea. She is the heart of our office. Um, again, Andrea has shared with you a little bit about her background. Um, Andrea is the career advisor. We have only one career advisor at this time. Uh, we, we are running a little short on staff, but um, we're making it happen. And Andrea, as I mentioned, she's, she's all smiles every day and she works hard. And she is truly the front line. She is the heart of this department because she builds those relationships with the students. She um, builds that trust with the students and encourages them and, and makes sure that they are prepared and that they are ready. And she visits them not only in the office, um, virtual now, but also in the classroom and at our networking events. And so um, she, does, she does a lot. For, for this university. And then we do have um, 
our, our graduate research assistants that we've just recently brought on. And I wanted to share with you um, an initiative that we've just started. And I, I think this would be um, very important to share with you all, just so that you know um, how hard we're working to help our international students be successful and uh, resourceful in, in finding their, their career here in the United States or beyond, wherever it is that you decide to go. And so we've got Ryan in the middle. He's, he's our only um, male in our office. <laughs> and then we do have um, Miss CG right there in the middle as well. And so um, just to share with you a little bit about what we're doing on our end, um, we have launched a survey for employer partners and ask them um, very specific questions about their hiring process for international students, um, if they know the process, if they're interested in, in receiving information on the process, and um, how they would like to receive that information. The goal of this is to, in turn, educate our employers um, on how easy it is to hire international students and, and what that process looks like. Um, in turn, bringing in more job and internship opportunities for our international students. And so with that um, survey launch, we have received employers, quite a bit of employers who are interested in um, knowing what that process looks like. And so we are pulling, um, <laughs> and so we're gonna, what we're doing is um, bringing in these employers and having them speak to um, our immigration lawyers and educating them on that process and building those relationships. And so that's just one of the initiatives that we have going on. Our office works very closely with the international office as well. So, um, you know, lots of great things that are happening on our end, um, not only just with our students in the States, but with our international students. And then of course, we've got Alex Martinez um, over there on the bottom left-hand corner. She is our peer career coach. We do have student coaches that come in. Um, again, they're, a lot of them are frontline as well. They do mainly the resume and cover letter review, assist with our um, job search and our presentations in the classroom. And this gives Andrea more time to really focus on the career counseling aspect, the events, and even the employer outreach. Um, you know, she's, she's my, my counterpart on that end. So, um, that is Alex's role. And then, of course, we have Miss Samantha, who is one of our students as well. This young lady has been with us um, since her freshman year, and she's absolutely wonderful. She is a student assistant, but she runs our whole uh, communications and media and, and does such a wonderful job because obviously you need to have that piece to um, promote our events and um, share resources, share events that are going out. And so, that is her sole responsibility, and she's great at it. But um, just to go back um, to our mission statement, really who we are, and, and I won't read um, our mission statement um, verbatim, but um, our office is dedicated um, to our students and to our alum. We, we never go away. Um, our alumni are forever ours, and so they can come in um, at any point say they lose a job, um, you know, two, three, 10 years down the line after they've graduated, they are more than welcome to come, attend our events, our networking events. We assist with the resumes, everything. And so um, Andrea's gonna talk more about the different services we provide, but um, that, is, that is basically our mission is to ensure that our students are successful from day one to the time they walk out of here till infinity, until <laughs> till the end, you know, and so, um, we also foster relationships with campus departments um, and external employers, and that, again, brings in the opportunity of job and internships. And so with that, I am going to pass it over to Ms. Andrea so she can share um, more details about the services that we provide. You're on mute. <laughs> There you go. Okay, can y'all hear me? Sorry about that. Okay. So like Jessica said, we are here to help our students and alumni with their professional development. 
um, throughout their time at UIW and even afterwards. So what does this look like? We help our students figure out what major they would like to go into, or if they are in their major, maybe different areas that they can look into that they can apply their degree in. Uh, we have many resources to help you navigate those uh, processes. We do career advising as well, or career counseling, basically. Um, we have an assessment that will, that when our students take that assessment, it'll give you a series of options for a career that aligns with your uh, assessment results. And then it also pairs it up with majors that are offered at UIW, which makes it a lot simpler for our students to really know what path they want to take. Uh, we also conduct mock interviews. So if we have students or alumni who are going to be interviewing for a job, professional school, a scholarship, whatever the case may be, we, we will have a, an appointment with them where we will make sure that they see an interview that is closely related to what they're going to experience. So we'll cater the questions as closely as possible to what they'll see in that interview, provide feedback, and it's not a one-time thing. You can keep, keep doing these mock interviews until you're happy and confident with the, your interviewing skills. We have a lot of professional development and we have successfully transitioned to a virtual setting um, through this pandemic. So all of our workshops are still offered virtually that means uh, resume reviews. We have, um, uh, you know, how to apply to grad school workshop. We have a workshop on LinkedIn, how to navigate and use LinkedIn for, for your um, benefits, especially now that we're kind of transitioned into virtual recruiting as well. A lot of companies are on LinkedIn. So we, we conduct a lot of workshops where our students can know the ins and outs of networking, of how to obtain a job or internship how to make themselves marketable, how to interview, how to dress professional in a virtual and in-person setting, how to sell yourself with the elevator pitch. So we have many types of workshops and webinars that are not only done by us, but our employer partners. And that's the big role that Jessica plays into this. She collaborates with all of these companies um, that, that have employer partners that want to partner with the university and 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 help us out with these workshops and webinars and offer <gasps> their expertise. Sorry, I have a little one here with me today. Um, we also have networking events, like Jessica said. So that will be a virtual career fair is what we've transitioned to. That means that we have employers connected to the university in a virtual setting and get to meet our students through that. Uh, we also have graduate school planning. So what that means is, let's say you want to go to grad school. Grad school requires personal statements, uh, curriculum vitae, uh, your interview, references, so on and so forth. We help you navigate all that process. We do have an online job database called Handshake. Handshake is like the LinkedIn for university students. Through Handshake, it's like our one-stop career shop. So you can register for events. They don't have to be just career services. They could be employer partners that are posting their own webinars or events. You can uh, connect with current students and alumni. You can connect with recruiters. You can schedule appointments with us, with the, the career services staff, with advisors, um, and search and apply for jobs. And they're not just San Antonio based, this is worldwide. So if you want to do like an internship back home, uh, Handshake is a good resource that are free to all of our students and that we um, give them access to as current students and alumni of the university. Um, and lastly, objective advice. So give you, give you the advice that you need for what you are searching for and what you're looking to, to obtain. And I think it's important to um, note that, again, we, we say free, and, and it is free. This is a, a resource that comes with your, your package, your university package. And so it, it would be a shame for students not to take advantage of, of such a, an amazing resource and, and again that's career services and so um, I wanted to just give you a little bit of a tidbit on um, a Gallup poll. Gallup poll is polling that we have here in the United States and 
Um, they regularly conduct public opinion polls. Um, historically, the Gallup poll has measured and tracked the public's attitudes um, concerning political, social, and, and economic issues, including sensitive or controversial subjects. So um, you, can, you can say that this is a pretty um, fair poll um, to go off of, but I'll just read this off to you. College graduates who visit their college career centers are not only more likely to obtain full-time jobs than their peers who do not use this service, 67% versus 59%, but they're also more likely to find their jobs more fulfilling. And so students who have had a, a, a good career services experience um, have also um, been able to find jobs that are waiting for them upon graduation. And so that is a big piece to, to what we assist with. Um, we are here to help connect our students with our community. Um, whether it is local or it's across the country or, a, a, you know, a, in another, you know, state, whatever it may be. And so um, I just thought I would share a little bit of, of that information with you. So next slide. All right. So this, this is um, pictures from our events that we host when we were in person, but these are actually all events that we've transitioned virtually as well. So on the far left here, you see HEB. HEB is our big grocery chain here in Texas. So it's actually a very big deal to have them in our career fairs. And uh, they're actually a really great employer partner of ours, hiring our students for internships, jobs, or uh, uh, full-time or part-time opportunities. Um, this middle picture as well is another fair uh, that we have as well. And then this last picture on the right, it's a virtual etiquette um, <laughs> event that we have once a semester. So what this event does, we bring a renowned national etiquette coach named Diane Gotsman, who is actually also an alumni of UIW. Um, but she helps our students know the ins and outs of how to have dinner etiquette, how to how to uh, conduct themselves in like a interview, a dinner interview or lunch interview. A lot of times interviews can be done that way um, nowadays. So it's just helping them know what to use, how to conduct themselves. Um, you know, you, we learn something new every event as well as, as, as employees. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the perks of, of COVID and working from home. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, we also have uh, partnered up with RBFCU, uh, Randolph Brooks Federal Credit Union. So it's a, it's a it's a big um, it's a big it's a big milestone for us to, to have, be able to have this. Have y'all ever seen the show Shark Tank? If y'all haven't, check it out. But basically, our students all had a day with different local universities at our BFCU headquarters here in San Antonio. And they basically had a day to learn the ins and outs of our BFCU, the different departments they have, um, internships that are available for students. They got to meet employees that work there. And then at the end of this, they got to kind of do an experiment shark tank style so they were separated into different groups and had to um basically come up with an i an idea that was innovative and present it to to the to a panel and it was pretty neat to see what they came up with this bottom left corner we took a group of students to texas biomedical research so it's a it's a top research here in San Antonio and not only San Antonio but nationwide. They're actually um, a big part of discovering and helping come up with vaccines and cures for viruses. So they have contributed to COVID nineteen uh, tremendously. All right. You want to so I can share. Okay. So um, we also do have a wonderful partnership with um, our big chain of retail here called JCPenney. Um, and the way that this works, it's, it's absolutely amazing. We do have students that um, are a little bit more financially challenged. And so being able to bring our students and again, our alum, our staff, our faculty, 
being able to bring them into the store and actually purchase items up to their whole entire purchase is 60% off. And this is all for professional attire. So, um, Andrea, Andrea, you want to mute it real quick? <laughs> I There we go. I think we're good. Um, and so being able to uh, really offer this um, opportunity to our students um, has has really helped them build their own confidence. They can go in and um, feel good about what they're getting. Um, they're they're surrounded by people you know, in the same situation, uh, we do games, we do giveaways. It's just a wonderful opportunity for us as well to um, network with our own students and get to know them. And so this is um, one of the partnerships that we do have. Um, we also have our own career closet. I, I should have added some pictures, but I didn't. But we have um, uh, suits for men and women um, and, and different professional attire where students can come into our career closet here on campus and rent out our um, professional wear um, at no cost, must I say, and then um, they do return the items. There have been times that we have allowed students just to take, take the um, attire and, and keep it for themselves, um, knowing their situation. But um, again, this is just really a great way for us to give back to our students um, a lot of these clothes that come through the career closet are donated um, from maybe staff or faculty, but um, they're they're all beautiful clothing, um, you know, and and we're just happy to be able to provide this service to them. Um, I think I think that was it. Yes. Yeah, so you want to go ahead? Let me unmute you. <laughs> There you go. No, Andrea, actually you have to uh, unmute yourself. There you go. Thank you so much. So sorry about that. We gave her a lollipop so that she'll leave me alone. <laughs> I, I, I did want to add something to this. UIW is a big, like, family-based community with our faculty, our staff, our students, alumni. Um, and, you know, I'm, my, I'm right there in the picture, but what y'all don't see is that we have many staff members working this event. So it's not just people from career services. We have many um, people from different offices who are there supporting and helping our students. So that's the cool part about a small community based at UIW. You know everyone, you're accessible to everyone. If you need help, you know who to go to. And if you don't, someone's there to answer your questions and help direct you to the right office or the right people. So um, I think it's really neat to see because it's not just us, like it's really is a whole community UIW community effort to put on these things for our students. That's a great point. We're, UIW is definitely um, family oriented and, and we're all here to support each other, our students and, and our community. So um, I wanted to hit a little bit on our center spotlight, how we really put ourselves out there and, and work with our community. Um, basically, uh, I guess we should say we, we're actively and creatively developing um, partnerships and engagement involving the students, the university, um, employers and alumni, and this has really made um, career development critical or a critical component um, of, this, of the student's entire experience here at UIW. And, and really, career services has become the center to curriculum. And so I wanted to share with you more about how um, we embed ourselves into different areas. And so um, I mentioned earlier that we are there from beginning to end. And so when I say beginning, we, we start off um, presenting in our new student orientation. And this doesn't just include our students. Our, our, our parents are there too. And so we, we want to make sure that our students understand um, what our services are, what we're there for, how we get them connected, how we help them develop their personal branding, 
and, and their skill sets. <laughs> and then include the parents into this so that they can encourage their students to be a part of this programming. Um, we uh, support our career specialists who serve as liaisons to students pursuing majors in specific career clusters um, and help them become familiar with employers in those fields. And so what that means is we bring in um, very specific employer partners. We, we build these relationships. So it's not necessarily a recruiter. It could be a VP of HR, which you know we have very um, close relationships with. And they come in and they talk to our students about building those necessary skills and what those steps are and, and what they need to do um, in order to develop them. And then they help drive that connection from um, the time you know students ready to uh, get an internship to the time they're ready to get going on their career. Um, we help develop a four-year professional um, plan. So um, again, this starts from freshman all the way to their senior year. We have what um, we call as a four-year career plan within our office, which um, we have also, um, well, I shouldn't say we, but um, we've, well, we have, we've shared this over to our business school and, and they have adopted this plan and they've built this into their curriculum. And so it is a requirement for them to visit our office, to um, do mock interviews, to complete um, a resume review, to attend networking events, um, do professional about development. And so this is a big piece to helping our students um, go through the steps of each, each um, grade level year. So from their freshman year, there's certain things that, certain things that they would check off um, and then again on their sophomore, junior, and senior level. And then by the time they're ready to graduate, they feel confident. They, they feel that they would be successful to go out there. They have those connections that they need um, in, in order to, to um, be successful. And so, and then we also have our programs, um, which Andrea touched on, and we've gone through some of those pictures, which are the workshops and events that we host. Um, along with collaborative um, events. And so we do a lot of um, um, other events with the alumni, um, with international, with the business school. And so um, this really ties in that whole um, supportive family piece that, that we, we have here at UIW to um, really let our students know that we are here with them all the way. Um, from beginning to end. Um, we do have an alumni mentoring program um, that uh, allows our students to get connected with our alum out there in the community. So if um, someone from the business school is interested in, in um, connecting with somebody in the community, in the business community, we like to bring um, those people together. And then we have um, a mentoring program that can last up to, you know, six months to a year and, and if longer. I mean, sometimes these, these relationships develop long after. And, and again, this is a great way for our students to get jobs out in the community because they've built those connections. Um, we also, um, again, have a great connection with our faculty. We do a lot of presentations within the classroom. Um, we also bring in our community partners to present in the classrooms as well. Um, and this is specifically um, about maybe an industry that the students are interested in, um, what skill sets it takes to um, become a part of that, that industry or that specific company. And then again, on the career services end, as we present, we talk to them about um, time management, um, resume review, networking, um, there's a plethora of, of, of workshops that we provide. And so there's the other connection there. And then of course we have our external opportunities. Um, and I'll share with you one that we've, um, we've been working on for the past couple months. Um, we are, we, I say we here at UIW and then um, some, some other universities here across the country, we have come together to, um, put a career expo um, for our Hispanic serving institutes. And so our top Hispanic serving institutes have come together to create this career expo event for our students where we'll have top notch employers 
we're talking about 25 to 30 employers, but top, top notch, where students can come in and um, speak to these recruiters, network with them, share their experience, and potentially get a job or an internship. And so this is just one example of um, external opportunities that we, we, we um, participate in. And, and really it also shows how career services as a whole, it's not just um, you know, us here at UIW and then maybe one at another university. We really work together um, to make sure that our entire community is helping our, our young students um, rise above and, and really be successful in their career and uh, graduate outcomes. And so, next slide. Andrea, you got this, are you, did we lose Andrea? Oh, there she is. So I, I think her microphone's out, so I'll just share a little bit about this. This, um, this is just our overall um, student count. Um, not, a, not a whole lot here in terms of data, so we can go to the next, the next slide. All right, Andrea, are you there? Okay. Uh, I think Andrea has left the stage, but she's oh, online. She? Okay. No problem, no problem, I'll, I'll talk to it. So um, this is just a slide indicating how um, far we've come from 2018. I don't have our um, data from this year because we, it's still ongoing. But as you can see from um, the red marks, those count as the, fair, the fairs and the events um, are all our professional development events and workshops that we've held. If you take a look at it, you can see that over the year, um, we've, we've increased by almost 50% on all areas. And so students are really taking advantage of our services um, and, and um, really engaged in what we have to give them. Next slide, please. All right, so um, I actually wanted to throw this out to the audience in the event that you all have maybe had experience with a career services office before. So um, how do you get the most of your college career center? And so I'll, I'll um, keep an eye out and see if there's any comments in the chat room, but what do you think is the most valuable service available at the Career Center. And Michaela, if you don't see any um, responses, just let me know. I see a couple of people typing, so okay. Okay. How are we on time? Are we good? This will be our last slide, so and then I'll let you take over. Sure. So again, if you could just type in the chat box, what do you think is the most valuable service that Career Services Center offers? I'll just share a little bit of, of what I, I feel is, is very valuable and what has been valuable to our students. And that is really having the opportunity to um, do our networking events. Regardless of whether a student's looking for a job or internship, this is the time for students to really develop their um, way of communicating with maybe a recruiter or um, just a, a community partner. They also are able to get an idea of maybe a specific industry, uh, get, get their mind thinking about, you know, is this the right career path for me? Um, and then of course you develop those relationships, um, whether it's short term or long term, um, hopefully long term, where they have that connection with, so if they're a sophomore, they come to their senior year, they're ready to graduate. They, they're like, hey, I remember this so um, I'm going to reach out to them and see if maybe there's an opportunity within their, their um, organization or company. 
Any comments or anything on that, McKaylee? I would just like to add for our international students um, in particular, definitely the career fairs have been very helpful for them. We have uh, seen international students uh, go to the events even if they're exchange students and they're only here for a short term. And then some of our degree seeking students as well, they, they come as early as you know their first or second year. And it's a great opportunity for them, even if they're not looking for a job right away, it's great practice, you know, practicing meeting and networking with these employers. And then also just learning more about what's out there and what's available, who's been very beneficial for them. Absolutely, for sure. So when and how often should students visit their campus career center? All the time, from day one. <laughs> That's what I always say. So, um, and truly, I, I don't want to overwhelm students their freshman year, but I think it's always an important um, uh, topic is, is really understanding what that student's uh, drive is, what they're interested in doing, just so it gets the wheels thinking a little bit and, and helping them understand the importance of, of um, developing and building those necessary skills because it doesn't obviously just happen within our office it happens within the classroom as well um, but again we all work together as one unit to help develop those skills so um, just going back how often um, I would say absolutely from the freshman year and and as you get as a student gets closer towards the end of their graduation um, I would say at least three times um, for that year, come to visit, make sure that, um, and, and really honestly, um, visit as much as it, it takes to make that student feel comfortable um, and, and confident and ready to go out into um, the community. So will my career center place me in a job? Um, a lot of students um, and, and even internal staff have always thought we were a job placement. We're not a job placement, um, but we are here to help you prepare um, and then we bring in the recruiters so that they can in turn um, see what's been developed here at UIW, um, which by the way, we have amazing students. And so um, I have to um, say that our staff and faculty have really attested to that. Are there things students should or shouldn't do to get the greatest possible value from career centers? Um, I wouldn't say there's there's not really anything they shouldn't do um, other than if you're not visiting your career services center and you're not taking advantage of all of the resources, that's that's definitely um, a, a no no on on that student's end. Um, but getting the greatest possible value from the career centers, um, what you should do is is definitely stay connected within um, the community, the career centers community. Um, get involved in your organizations um, and, and, and work with your faculty. Uh, a lot of times our faculty are very involved in our office and so making sure that you're just making those different connections and, and getting involved. And we did get a great comment in the chat box um, in regards to goal for career services office. Okay. Um, they say that uh, the goal of career services should be to guide the students in a way to help them to have the opportunity to study and work in a job that they're good at and help them build a network to improve their future, uh, which I think is really great. And I think that is kind of what you've said throughout the whole well presentation. Said. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So thank you for that. That was well said. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Um, we're going to end our portion of the presentation and pass it on to McKaylee, but um, we just wanted to very specifically share what our department does, how um, we contribute to the, the success of the university and the success of our students. And, um, and as always, thank you, McKaylee, for having us and um, working with us. Great, thank you so much. Um, my my goal for this session was to kind of get students to understand what services are available to them. Uh, you know, 
students, you're investing a lot of time, a lot of money into your education, and you really want to be able to get the most out of it possible. So definitely take advantage of all opportunities that are given to you. Um, you know, really make sure whenever you're researching universities, do kind of look and see what they have available to offer. You know, make sure they do have a career services office because universities that have that available to you are going to be invested in your future. And you want to make sure that you um, have the ability to start networking with employers to learn what's out there and to really build your skills and your confidence because you know as Jessica and Andrea mentioned it's really important to um, work on your interview skills you know work on your networking skills you know be able to present yourself well to these employers so definitely when you're looking at universities make sure they have career services available to you and that you do take advantage of them thank you Michaela. Um, so I think a lot of the questions we have, I'll answer in um, my portion of the presentation. Um, I am not, if one of the moderators can allow me to share my screen, I'm trying to share and it won't let me. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and take okay, my picture off. <laughs> um, so I have about 10 minutes uh, worth of um, Hi, Michaela. Are you able to share your screen? So, or do you have? Um, it's not letting help? me share. I'm clicking the button and just nothing's happening. Could you please try to log in again or refresh the page, maybe? Evet arkadaşlar, Mekeli'nin tekrar bağlanana kadar e, sorularınız varsa bu sırada yazabilirsiniz. Okay, great. Um... Um, so I got about 10 minutes. I'm going to talk a little bit more about UIW specifically. Um, and then I hope to answer a lot of your questions through this. But if not, we'll finish answering questions at the end. Um, so just a little bit about UIW. We are located in San Antonio, Texas. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it is kind of far south here on the map. Um, so we are uh, close to Louisiana, Oklahoma, and Mexico. Uh, we were founded in 1881, so UIW has been around a while. It is a medium-sized institution, and it is a private university. So we do have about 8,600 students, which is great. It's not too small, not too huge. Um, and we do offer a variety of academic programs for you to choose from. We have 90 different programs in a variety of fields. Um, we do have small class sizes, which is a key feature of UIW. So our student to teacher ratio is 11 to 1, meaning for every 11 students, there is a professor. So it's a very hands-on approach to education. We do this so you get to know your peers and your professors very well and build those strong relationships. It's also a very diverse institution. We have students from 80 different countries right now. Um, if you're not familiar with Texas, I definitely recommend you add it to your bucket list. It's a great place. Um, definitely people are very friendly. We've had a lot of international students compliment um, the people here as well as the diversity, the culture. There's a lot of history in San Antonio. And the great thing is, is our campus is very centrally located. So you're close to all of the famous sites like the Riverwalk, the Alamo. It is a large city, so it is kind of the best of both worlds. You've got that strong community feel on campus um, that's a little more small, close-knit, but you have all of the resources of a large city. So kind of the best of both worlds there. Um, it is a very large business, tech, computer science hub. Um, so definitely a lot of opportunities available in the city. 
And these are um, the schools or colleges that we have within the university. So I'll mention just briefly some of the academic programs that we have. Uh, these are all of our undergraduate programs. I know there's a lot here, so I won't make you read all of them. Um, but in general, our most popular program would be business. Uh, because we have a lot of different concentrations within business. So you can really customize your program to what you're most interested in. For example, marketing, management, international business, finance, accounting. Um, so a lot of really good ways to really uh, customize your program. Um, our second most popular program would be computer information systems. I know uh, computer science, cybersecurity is really popular and in demand right now. Uh, some of our other programs that I'd like to highlight would be engineering, communication arts, 3D animation and game design, graphic design. Uh, we have a lot of the pre-med, pre-health programs as well. Um, and it's also great if you don't know what you want to st study. Since we do have a lot of options, you can always start taking some classes and decide later. Um, you can also visit the wonderful Career Services Office for some guidance into what direction um, would be best suited for your interests. Um, so these are our graduate programs. So for our master's degrees, we have um, several different education programs as well as communication arts, nutrition, accounting, and um, our MBA program, which is very popular. Um, at the doctoral level, we have an education program with several different concentrations that we get quite a few international students in. And then we have professional programs in optometry, pharmacy, and physical therapy. So what makes UIW different from other institutions? Um, partially, it's our small class sizes. You know, you want to be able to build strong relationships with your professors so that they can write great letters of recommendation for you if you go into um, grad school, if you go on to the workforce. Um, really build those uh, strong connections. Also, um, we do have a really large emphasis on career and professional development, as you heard earlier. Um, so they're going to be offering job fairs. They have job fairs every semester. Um, also networking events. You can meet with employers. You can meet with alumni and learn about the things that they've gone on to do. Um, workshop opportunities, like they said, resume review. You know, resumes um, back home versus the U.S. may be different. So. Um, They'll help you with the formatting on it, learning you know how to best pre present yourself that way, um, as well as mock interviews, um, you know, helping you locate internships in and around the area. Um, also, just in general, UIW really provides you with that hands-on experience in your field. So an example of this would be our business plan competition and our new venture startup challenge. And that's where students who are interested in business can pitch their own idea for a business and potentially start earning money towards that while they're still studying. So that's a really great opportunity. Another example would be our fashion show that's done every year with our fashion students. We also have our own TV station, radio station, and newspaper if you're interested in communications. So lots of ways to really get involved and also to really start building your resume. You know, you're going to get that experience that you can share on your resume with employers that's relevant to your field. The university experience, um, we do have a variety of organizations to get involved with. We have multicultural events throughout the year. We have a great ambassadors program. So that's where you're going to be partnered up with a, um, an older student who can help show you around, help you get your ID. And that way you already have a friend as soon as you know you arrive. So we do provide airport pickup. You'll have a friendly face to greet you as soon as you arrive in San Antonio. And we do have a great international orientation. So it looks a little different this year with COVID. Um, most of the events have gone virtual. But in a regular year, what we do is uh, we have a free city tour. So we'll show you around the city. You'll see all of those great sites in San Antonio and get to know your community before your classes start. 
Um, just quickly, benefits of applying with us. It's very easy to apply. Um, I know it's a very stressful time for you guys, so we try to make the process as easy as possible. There's no application fee, and we operate on a rolling admission basis, which is great. Um, you know, you don't have to wait a very long time to get your answer. You know, undergraduate students can get their acceptance within about a week, and for graduate students, it takes uh, maybe two or three weeks. Um, so that's really great. Um, we try to get you your answer as, as soon as possible, and we provide guided admission support as well. Um, just real quickly about the entrance requirements. I know we had several questions about SAT and ACT. Great thing is we do not require SAT or ACT. Um, we, we won't even look at it. So that's a great option. You know, you don't have to worry about that exam. Uh, we just need your transcripts and proof of English proficiency. And that's pretty much the same for undergraduates and graduates. So submit us a copy of your transcripts and then provide proof of English. So that could be TOEFL, IELTS, Duolingo, Cambridge, um, I do recommend the Duolingo right now. Um, it's relatively cheap. You can take it from home. Um, and um, it, it's, it's a really very, very easy way to get that requirement taken care of. Um, for grad programs, I would like to mention if you're interested in the MBA program or the MS accounting, we do not require the GRE or GMAT. We do have scholarships available. For our undergraduate students, you'll automatically be considered for a scholarship uh, automatically when you apply. So you'll earn between five and $20,000 a year, and that's just based on your GPA. For graduate students, we do have a diversity scholarship. We just ask that you contact us uh, with your application for that. Uh, this is what our website looks like. I'm going to put it in the chat box as well. Um, it's just uiw.edu slash international admissions. We're also very active on social media. I like to post our student testimonials. So we post about events happening on campus. You can get kind of that student perspective. Um, also, WhatsApp as well. If you ever have a question, if you think of something later that we didn't cover, feel free to reach out to us on WhatsApp. Um, I will go ahead and put that information in the chat box and move on to answering any remaining questions. Here is our website going out in the chat box. And then I'll add our WhatsApp number as well. Okay, so now let me go through and make sure I answered all of your questions. Uh, I know we're running kind of short on time. Um, so one of the questions that you asked was, is there an OPT opportunity for international students? That is a great question. Yes, so all of our international students are eligible for OPT after they graduate. OPT is a year uh, a year long and for some students in STEM programs, so some of the science, um, engineering, math programs, you can get up to three years. So um, that's a really great opportunity for you. It basically just gives you time to stay on your student visa with your immigration documents through the university and working with a company. And then after that time is up, the company can decide um, whether or not they want to hire or continue the process and um, take control of the immigration side from there. And if I might add, Michaela, that's um, also an area where we work very closely with our international students to make those connections with the employers. Yes, definitely. Um, our next question, is it possible to get uh, credit transferred from a Turkish university? Yes, definitely. We do accept transfer students. Uh, we have transfer scholarships available as well. Um, we do ask if you're transferring that you get some form of credential evaluation that shows us 
what the equivalent would be here in the United States. If you would like more information on that, um, please just reach out to me. I'll put my email in the chat box. Sorry, I know I'm going through these kind of quickly. Um, the next person asks about living expenses in Texas. That is a really great question. Um, so first off, I'd just like to say it's not a requirement to live on campus. You are more than welcome to live in one of our residence halls, but you don't have to. Um, one of the great, great things about Texas, there's many great things, um, but the cost of living is lower here than it is in the, the rest of the states. It's about 12% lower than the national average. Um, our next question is, do you offer an English language preparation year? We do not have our own ESL program, but we do have a partner in the San Antonio community that's about five minutes from our campus where you can take English language classes. And then once you're done with those cl classes, start taking your UIW classes. And for some reason, the rest of the questions are not showing up in the chat box. Um, I think I answered most of them. If you do have any more questions that I did not answer, I'm going to put my email here in the chat box. Hi, Michaela. I think we have a lot of questions. Uh, if you cannot see, I could uh, just pop it on your screen like this. I think you answered this, but sure. Yeah. Yes, uh, scholarship opportunities, definitely, um, they are automatic when you apply. Application deadlines. Um, yeah, so we actually don't have any deadlines, which is great. Um, I know there's a lot of stress this year because of the COVID situation. So we do operate on a rolling admission basis, which just means you can apply any time and then you'll get your answer within a week for undergraduates and two to three weeks for graduate students. Uh, career opportunities in the US for international students. Uh, yes, so great question. Um, I think Jessica and Andrea um, touched a little bit on this, but you know they are a great resource and a great network. They are always familiar with what kind of opportunities are available in and around San Antonio. Uh, we have had students um, go back to work in their home country. We have had students stay in the United States. Um, so definitely we have the resources for you to be able to find a job here. Um, but I, I have to say with whatever university you go to, you know, it, it is kind of the student's responsibility to take the initiative and do the research um, and, you know, attend career services events, start networking. Um, some examples of companies that we've had students go on to work for um, would be KPMG, Ernst & Young, Rackspace, um, Indeed, as well as CPS Energy. So a lot of really great companies um, that we've had international students go to work for. Tesla headquarters is also moving to Austin, Texas, which is just like 45 minutes to an hour away from us as well. Yes, that's great. That's really great. Um, the SAT, ACT is not compulsory, so um, we won't even look at that. Don't worry about it. Um, we do not have a master's program in law. Um, we have criminal justice at the undergraduate level, um, but unfortunately not at the graduate level. Um, okay, so the next question is asking about um, for career services, do we have any partner companies for internship opportunities for foreign students? Um, Andrea, Jessica, do you kind of want to jump in here, please? Yeah, I can I can definitely add to that. And so that goes right back to the initiative that I talked about um, earlier on and what we're doing with pulling those companies in. We do not um, currently have an official partnership. Um, we work again, we work very closely with our employer partners. And so 
whenever there is an availability or there is an opportunity for students, um, we jump right on it and we connect our students with them. But that initiative is specifically devoted to building that partnership. So for instance, if we have um, a partnership with say Tesla, um, we would like to be the first university that they would go to to allow our inter international students to interview first. And so that's what this whole process is going to lead us to. Um, and I imagine with all the, the companies that reached back out to us and, and indicated their interest, I, I, I would say we're gonna have several partnerships that take place after this, this whole process is complete. But, but just to really um, emphasize, it, it's not a difficult um, connection as of right now. Even though there's not a identified partnership, I feel like we already have those partnerships either way because we have um, community partners that connect with us and ask for our students specifically. Great. If that makes um, sense. <laughs> So our next question is asking about which programs are um, best for international students who intend to build a career in Texas. Um, I think I kind of touched on this already. Our most popular program definitely is business. Um, so we were, San Antonio in general was ranked second to only Wall Street in providing prestigious financial jobs to um, in general. Um, so we are really great for finance as well as computer science. Um, we do have quite a few of our engineering students that go to work for CPS Energy, which is the main energy provider here. Um, so definitely a lot of great opportunities, um, but really our career services office has all of the resources you need for whichever program you're most interested in to find opportunities that way. Um, so I, I know um, we're already kind of going over time. Um, so I would like to take a moment to invite you all to our um, UIW classroom experience that is happening this Friday. Um, it will be a great opportunity for um, high school students, undergraduate students to experience a U.S. university classroom. So instead of an info session, it will be an actual lecture. We will have a professor do an intro to business course, and it'll be a 30 minute lecture followed by Q&A. Um, but there'll be students there from all over the world, and you can you know, get that experience of what a university lecture will look like, feel like, interact with an actual professor. Um, and if you're interested in business, but you don't really know, this will be a great kind of way to get an idea of if that's something you're interested in. Uh, so again, that's this uh, this Friday, um, same time, so 6 p.m. time for you. I am sending the link to that in the chat box if you would like to register. Um, so I, I would go ahead and like to thank my uh, co-presenters today, um, Jessica and Andrea. I really appreciate your time. Um, again, I'd just like to really reinforce the fact that Career Services is a really great resource for you to have. Um, whatever school you go to, uh, wherever you're researching, schools that you're looking at, you know, do make sure that they have those kind of resources available to you because that is what's really going to help prepare you for your future career. Um, so thank you very much. That's all from me. I do have my contact information in the chat box if you think of any more questions. Um, and again, thank you so much to uh, Jessica and Andrea for their great presentation today. Thank you. And thank you to everybody out there in Turkey. Thank you so much. Thank you for bearing with me too. <laughs> Bye -bye. Yes, thank you very much for your presentation, you guys. And we believe it was a really informative webinar for the attendees. And you put a real effort answering all of the questions. Also, I would like to thank the participants in Turkish as well. Katıldığınız için teşekkür ederiz arkadaşlar. University of Incarnate World ile ilgili diğer sorularınız için Mekeli'nin paylaşmış olduğu mail adresinden iletişime geçebilir. Ve ayrıca linkleri inceleyebilirsiniz. Yarınki webinarlarımızda görüşmek üzere. Thank you again, you guys. It was a pleasure to have you in IFT Talks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.